Michael Myers, the iconic and legendary environment of modern horror. This character is even more iconic today than when it first arrived in the 70s, and most of all, even more terrifying. Even the name itself gives all horror lovers goosebumps. The cold, spine-chilling stare of the mask is not only the iconic centerpiece of the franchise, but the true blueprint of modern horror in general. But before the inside-out rubber mask of William Shatner was used to represent the franchise, it had another look, and that was the skull face pumpkin. And that's what we're going to do today in this DIY project. So go to your local supermarket and grab the most biggest, badass, awesome pumpkin you can find, and let's start crafting. All right, guys. Hey. I got a special guest today. You know what this is? No, it's not NBA basketball. It's a pumpkin. That's right. It's that time of year again where it's all about these guys right here. And I'm in that mood myself. Check it out. I even got a candle. It's uh, you, your fall festival pumpkin. Set and candle. Check it out. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what this smells like? This smells like a fall festival. I'm just joking, but in all serious seriousness, though, um, today I'm going to be doing a theme from a famous movie franchise, and this franchise is over 30 years old. I remember uh, when I was a kid and I first saw this movie, it was one of those movies that made me sleep with the covers over my head, and that movie is Halloween, and um, we're familiar with the traditional look of Mike Myers and all that, but um, before Mike Myers, it was all about Jack Pumpkin, and that was pretty much the uh, calling card for the movie Halloween, and what I'm going to do today is try to interpret that same uh, type of movie poster, but in a realistic form on onto this pumpkin right here. Now, I'm going to be honest, I wanted to do this on a plastic pumpkin, a fake pumpkin, but you know what? I just came from shopping and Safeway had these bad boys on sale and so I picked up two of them and so we're just going to make this work. Plus everybody else on YouTube is throwing fake pumpkins and plastic pumpkins. We're going to do our crafting on real pumpkins. So yeah, that's going to set us aside from everybody else and I guarantee you this one's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. I know I say this all the time. Uh, it's going to be a banger, but this one's going to be a little short. But it's going to be a real banger, and even though it's themed for Halloween, you can dust it off and just watch it any time of the year. I guarantee we're going to have some fun with it. So uh, just stick around. I'll see you on the other side, and we're going to get busy with Jack Pumpkin here. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is our item layout. But this one's pretty simple and pretty basic. The main thing that we're going to need is our crafting clay at least a box full or at least a bowl full. You will need three different types of glue. Clear glue, crafting glue, and most important, wood glue. You're going to need a small amount of styrofoam, a roll of packaging tape, and last but not least, crafting paints. And you're going to need three to four paint brushes, and that's a large brush, a medium-sized brush, a regular paint brush, and a liner brush. Before getting started, the first thing I'm going to do is just do a simple sketch of the skull onto the pocket, and I'm going to do this by using a black magic marker. simply doing is just using glue to attach the styrofoam to the pumpkin and then I'm going to use tape to hold everything in place and after the frame is made I'm just going to let it sit and dry for a little while and then I will begin the clay sculpture itself.
I got some super awesome good news. Okay, now let's get this coffee cup out, out of the way here. The bad news is I got a lot of cracks, a whole lot of cracks. But the awesome good news is these cracks made this thing look super dope as hell. I mean, come on, look at it, look at it. I mean, basically, when the clay dried, it shrunk a little bit, and when it shrank, it made all these you know, little cracks that's uh, inside the uh, you know clay itself. But it stuck good onto the pumpkin. It stuck really good, and it just made it look a whole just just made it look awesome all together. The areas where where the cracks occurred, it sunk in. This area sunk in a little bit, and then it's got like a lot of cracks around the jaw area and crazy amounts of cracks around the um, teeth area and then the uh, you know lower jaw it's got some cracks there and then it cracked a lot around this area right here but I gotta say these cracks make it look like just something that you would see in like an old witch's cottage or or a something that you would see on Tales from the Crypt. Honestly, I really don't want to paint this. I mean, to me, it looks looks gnarly enough just like this. But you know what? Um, just to keep it going, because you can see the marker. I'm going to show you. You can see the marker where I drew on it, you know. And so with that being said, I have to cover it up. And the mouth needs to be painted black and all that. But... Um, with how it looks now, I'm, I'm extremely pleased with the results that I got right now. We're going to see how strong the teeth area jawline is. I got me some Pop-Tarts right here. Yeah, we're going to open up the box of Pop-Tarts. And these Pop-Tarts got a little bit of weight on them because, as you already know, it's two in a package. So I'm going to check that right now. So pretty much with that being said, I'm going to get the Pop-Tarts stuck in there, you know. And see, as you can see, look at that. Now, that jaw is one pop tart package of pop tart strong. I mean, it's really in there. I mean, basically, he don't want to let that go. I mean, that has a good bite on it and everything. And so, pretty much, it's one pop tart strong. I got a little bit of a broken tooth there, but that's okay. You know, I'll fix that later on. I ain't going to worry about it. Let's see. How many Safeway cinnamon rolls that he can hold in? No, I'm just playing. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. That's 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 my breakfast this morning. He can't eat that. Mm. But as you see, you know the jawline and just the um, you know clay area in general, it's pretty solid on there. So now we gotta get to the main part, and that's uh, getting this uh, bad boy painted. And so yeah, we're ready to move on to the rest of the video. 
Hey, thanks, Jack. I really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna get to to the rest of the video, which is painting. All right, LEDs are painted. Now it's time to get down to business. I got my iPad with the picture ready, so I can use it as a reference point as I continue to paint. Yeah, that's right. Rock and roll. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's movie poster approved. Now we're ready to move on to the LEDs. All right, now we're going to finish up the vibe. And what we're simply going to do is just place refrigerator tape behind the LEDs themselves. And then after this is done, we're going to position them into the eye socket of the skull. And this should give it the glowing eye effect that we truly want. to give it a little more stability. And then I covered it with black paint and touched up the pumpkin all together to make sure that everything was on point. And then I checked the lights again to make sure that this pumpkin was charged up with at least 12 volts of ultimate creepiness. All right, 
Hi, Jack. How you doing today, my man? All right, guys. Yeah. I got to say, this one was good. It was a lot of fun. It was a little strange. It was a little weird. But, you know, that's what Halloween is all about and everything. It's just basically bottom line. That's the night when all the freaks and geeks and weirdness, you know, uh, pretty much transpires and everything. And I think Jack fits right in there with the rest of them. But anyway, this craft was, um, you know, definitely a lot of fun. And it gave me an opportunity to do something that I wanted to do for a long time. Uh, I've been seeing the movie poster Halloween for, you know, quite a while. And um, basically, I've always wondered, uh, could I craft something like that and everything? Now I had the perfect opportunity to do that. And... I came up with uh, Jack Pumpkin right here. But anyway, on that note, um, basically take care of yourselves. Stay awesome. And um, have a great and safe Halloween and everything. And um, be nice to each other. Because if you don't, I got a special friend here that will pay you a visit. Isn't that right, Jack? Yeah. And see, basically Jack is a good guy. He's chill. He's cool. But... He has his moments, and I guarantee you don't want to get on Jack's bad side. Isn't that right, Jack? See, there you go. Now, we got to get to the complete project with Jack. All right, Jack, it's all up to you now. Take care, guys. Question. <laughs> 